Okay, so today we're learning middle C, and the topic that we're mainly basing it off of is your piano chords. Okay, so this is at my YouTube show done every day. You can subscribe to the to the feed. Uh, there's a link in the video description, the RSS feed. Every day I come out with new tutorials. So now, here we have our treble clef and our bass clef. Okay, now just remember the bass clef is low, the treble clef is high in pitch. Not that high, you know, it depends how high you make the notes, but that the actual location of it, you can think of it like this. Okay, that from here is tre treble, okay, and then back here is bass. Okay, so now, since we know, since we know that, James says, yo, Walt, I really, 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 yo, Jen, what's up? Thanks for tuning in, Jen. Um, James goes, well, I really don't understand middle C, or can you start with, with middle C? Absolutely, man. Okay, so now we all know the notes on treble clef. Okay, let's make it easy for people. We have E, every good boy does fine. Okay, now for bass clef, it's G, B, D, F, A. So, remember what I, what I said is that when you go up from line space, line space, yo, Jen, uh, Jen, da, 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 um, is that when you go line space, line space, up or down, you go up one letter each. So, what I mean by that exactly is that this note right here is F, okay? And it's on bass clef. On treble clef, it would be D. Just just know that, okay? Here's your here's your F on bass clef. If I were to go up one note from here to the next space, you now have G. So we have F, G. If I were to go up another space, it would be A. So see how it goes up one letter at a time? Next one's uh, B. Now, what's the next note going to be right here, James? It's going to be C. Now, here's where it gets really, really, really cool. This C right here, the first line above bass clef, is the same exact C as the first line below treble clef. Okay, because look, here's the bottom of the treble clef line. There's C, here's D, and then there's E. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that these two C's, is that's what it is. That's your middle C, okay? Whenever someone says middle C, middle C is literally, literally in the middle of both those clefs treble and bass. I'll circle it in blue for you. Um, check it out. There it is. So, let me write this up and show you exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, Spike, thanks for the nice words, bro. Um, I, you know, I think, I think you, I think you rock out. Um, so, let's, uh, let's, let's open up co-host. In case anyone has, has any questions, you can just jump in, co-host, do the whole nine. Um, oh yeah, James, it's totally going to click. Wait, just wait until I, I compare all this stuff for you, okay? So let's take this and minimize it, move it over here. Okay, now watch what, what I'm going to do here, James. And this is for everyone. I mean, this isn't just James. That If anyone has any questions, definitely stop me and say, well, just go over that again really quick, man. All right, but now here, check this out. We got this. Uh, let's move this up and over. This note right here on treble clef is middle C. This note right here on bass clef is also middle C. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was bass. I'm sorry. Uh, here. Let's do here. That note right there is middle C, which is also the same exact, same exact note as this right here. Okay? It all comes together now, Jen? Awesome. So, look, here's middle C, here's also middle C. Okay? The only difference is that one's in treble clef, one's, one's, in, in, one's in bass clef. So now you're starting to see, literally, that when you play piano, that the notes from treble that the notes from treble clef going up to bass clef are, it, it, the clef extends all the way up, right? But that when you look at the actual notes comparing them, they're actually connected. The treble clef isn't too far 
uh, above the bass, and the bass isn't too far below the treble. They're both connected by this guy, the, the middle C. Now, where's that middle C on piano? Your boy Walt's going to show you. All right? Check it out. This note right here, there's your, there's your middle C. Okay? And if you want to know where that's written on a piece of music, there it is right there. Okay, now if I were to get were to go up one uh one one note, um, does it mean when the staff is facing down? Uh, were you watching the pre-recorded lesson before? Oh, uh, okay. So in sheet music, can a piece start in a bass clef and then pick up into treble clef? Yes, absolutely. It happens all the time, all the time. Um, James says so. The bass clef you make line staff of the note facing down. No, 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 no. Okay, that's a, a another question. I'll get to it in a minute. Okay, but um, C, this note right here is C, okay? If I were to go up a note, I would have D, okay? And so there's D. Going up again, it'd be E. Going up again, it'd be F. Now, I ran out of room, but let's just throw this, this F here. There's F, G, A, B, and then C, okay? This C is an octave away from this C. Are you seeing that? I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. But no, are you seriously seeing that? This C is an octave away from this C. So this C is an octave away from this C. Alright, everyone got that? Now, James goes, so the notes that are, that are on the bass left point down and the notes that are in the treble left point up, no. I have a whole video on, uh, on this. There's a whole archive video. If you go here, check it out, guys. If, if you click on that link right there that I just threw in the chat, that will bring you directly to my video archive, which for those who are watching the pre-recorded video, um, it's waltrebear.net. Uh, well, if you just go to waltrebear.net, um, it, just click on the video picture archive link at the very top. You can't miss it. It's huge. And that will show you every single video. There's, there's like 50 of them. Um, so now, the notes that point down. The reason why these notes point down, James, is simply because look at the, mid, look at the, the middle line right here. Okay? And look at the middle line here. When, when a note is above, I'm sorry, let me, let, uh, let me move that up. When a note is above the middle line, the stem points down. When a note's below the middle line, the stem points up. And it's just so that you can keep the music looking nice. You know? That's all. It's just so it looks very nice, very um, aesthetic, and it, it, it makes it a lot more legible, especially when, like, you're playing a gig or you're practicing or you're teaching or you're doing, you know, whatever. Um... So, here we go, let me tweet that out. I forgot, I forgot to tweet, which is a big flaw, but I get it. Um, okay, so are there any questions about that? Anybody? Okay, starting right now of, of, of understanding what is middle C, where is it on the piano, and why, or where's the tie-in with treble clef and bass clef? Oh, I love... I love t uh, Twittering. Tweet out the sweepstakes. I will. I'm actually doing that. By the way, for those who are, who are watching the uh, show um, or the archive video, you, you're probably subscribed. If, if you're not, you, you should because, you know, you'll get a lot better quicker. And uh, we're doing a sweepstakes this weekend on Saturday with Dave Mora. We'll, we'll uh, check that out. Uh, I wanted to have him on the show today, but I didn't. I didn't hear hear back from him. So I think there's a little bit bit of time difference. It's six. It's six thirty here, and it's three thirty over there. So I hope he doesn't, you know, co-host at nine thirty, thinking that it's six thirty. Um, okay. So let me stop this recording, and I hope that helped you out. Are there any last questions for anybody before I stop this? Three. Two. No, sir. Everyone's good? Dead on, says James. Awesome. All right.